All right. Um, now, if you noticed, I, you've been following me for uh, the last year or so. There was actually an older video I had, CD collection. And I used to have it, but I took it down because after a while, I kind of felt like it wasn't really that big of a collection. I figured I'd wait until I get a little bit more into it, and then I'd make a new one myself. So I just want to start off with one CD I just got about a week ago. Figured I'd start off this video with a, my newest CD. And it's a band that I just heard about a month or two ago on Hair Nation from Sirius Radio while I was at work. I never knew them at all until I heard this one song. And uh, I checked them out one day and they weren't bad. Great White. Now, I know some people may not know them at all, and there's a, might be a small percentage that actually knows them pretty well. But they're hair metal, and that's one of my personal favorite types of the rock slash metal music. I don't know why I was showing you this part. There's nothing there. Oh, and uh, there's another CD I have called Journey's Greatest Hits, but I don't have it with me because I let my uncle borrow it. He doesn't really have that much, only just radio and a few CDs I made him. Alright, um, now this is one of my personal favorites, modern day bands out there. Lamb of God. Wrath. And I don't know if uh, any of you know this, but maybe some of you, especially any of those Lamb of God fans that are watching this now. Singer Randy Blith was arrested about a month ago because he was accused of manslaughter. For not, of course, not intentionally killing a fan. What happened is, um, in that same area, he got arrested in two years ago. They had a concert, and a fan jumped on the on the uh, stage when he really wasn't supposed to. The dumbass. And Randy Blith uh, pushed him off the stage, landed awkwardly, ended up in a coma, or paralyzed. Either way, he deserved it. And but unfortunately, he died. And Two years later, when Lamb of God came back, he got arrested, and they're not sure how long he'll be in prison. Better let him out soon, fuckers. Alright, uh, sure a lot of you people know these guys. If not, then, uh, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, Led Zeppelin Mothership. The, the two disc set. The case is kind of cool, you just push it in, and it pops out like that. And there's a second CD, and it shows the band members. Now, I'm not saying you're an idiot idiot. You don't know who they are. It's just that, you know, you might want to do a little more research on uh, music if you want to check out some classical stuff or music legends that change the face of the music industry. Now, uh, this is sort of a modern-day group, even though they form... About the 90s, I think. Or whatever. Kill Switch and Gage. A, well, this is the buzz saw as a CD. You know, both of these guys, both singers that have been involved in this group, they have strong ass vocals. Alright, um, this one, Dave Matthews Band. Crash into me. Or just, just crash. I was reading the back. <laughs> Nothing really that special. The CD. Not the music, but the cover. It's not a bad CD, though. Alright, um... This band I first heard because of Viva La Bam. Cradle of Filth. Thornography. And I got this used for only a couple bucks. It's a, sort of a cool logo. I'm sure everybody knows these guys too. Guns N' Roses, Grace Hits. No, and it's kind of like a flip book. Shows all their CDs. Oh, no, here. And, uh, pretty simple. Just a few scratches. Maybe they were in a hurry to get them out. I don't know. <laughs> right, um, Gwar. 
uh, one of the corniest looking, but not that bad musically. <clears throat> Excuse me. And they have some uh, pretty bizarre themed song names, like uh, the Apes of Wrath, uh, the Song of Words, <laughs> and the Nixor. Either way, it's so so. And now, um, this CD, it's uh, from a group that, that, even though they're from the 70s, and and hardly anybody knows them today, especially people of my age of 20. But I kind of, I kind of like them because I don't know, it's the way they're they play their music. It's different and pretty uh, neat to listen to. Steely Dan, Katie Lyde has a little grasshopper, or whatever. Yeah, I think it is a grasshopper. <laughs> and uh, I knew him because one time my uncle asked me to make a CD of a few different songs from these guys. And I didn't think they sound too bad. And I really started to like them. I have three CDs of them. I'll show the other two later. Um, a gorephobic nosebleed. And a uh, pretty interesting group to say the least. And these CDs. I never saw anything like it before. This looks like plastic. Gotta be careful. But it's actually like those little small mini discs that I could use from other different types of drives or whatever. Here's the other one. Oh, damn, it broke now. Everything's fucking breaking. Now, oh, what the hell this is? <laughs> just a bunch of nuns with. Crazy ass looking, just eyes all shut permanently. I don't know. And the uh, heart, very best stuff. It's that uh, exclusive uh, playlist that you can find at a few stores. And I won't try to make this very long because. Maybe you, some, some of you people have valuable time, and I have valuable time, we all do, so... Don't make sure this doesn't go an hour long. <laughs> um, rock Heroes. The biggest collection of rock hits from your favorite video games. And that exclusive to Walmart. And some of this includes The Scorpions, Blue, Blue Oyster, Cole, Foreigner, Boston, etc. That's what the inside looks like. And it says Rock Heroes 2, but I'm not sure if that ever came out. I'll have to look it up. If it did, then I might get it. Um, now this one I haven't really listened to that much. Um, it's called Between the Buried and Me Colors. I mean, it's one of those groups in which I just walk into one of the video store. Well, FYE, to be exact. And you just scan this. And the little headphone port with the bar, put the barcode, you scan it, and then you listen to samples. And this is one of those CDs. You first hear it, and you think it's pretty cool. Okay, um, the best of Pantera. Uh, far beyond the great Southern Cowboys, vulgar hits. It's a two disc set. With one of them being a DVD. <laughs> Alright, and here's another Steely Dan. This is their debut album, Can't Buy a Thrill. Alright, um, Devil Driver. Pray for villains. What's with his nose ring? <laughs> Duh. I mean, they're a decent group. I'm not a big fan, but it's not a bad CD. Uh, Cataclysm, Heaven's Venom came out two years ago. I have two CDs of these guys. It's another flip book case. Well, not a book, but it's a flip cover, sort of. 
All right, now this is one of my favorite modern day groups, Mishuga. Kick-ass group from, uh... Oh god, I can't believe I forgot where they're from, the fucking idiot. <laughs> And this is what it looks like on the inside. You can barely see. Because it's kind of like camouflage. I think they could have done a better job with that, but so what? Now, this group is interesting. It's called Airborne. No guts, no glory. And a lot of people compare them to ACDC. And I agree. And some of them say, oh, you ripped off ACDC. So what? You need more music like this these days. I mean, there are de is decent music today, but some of it's just garbage on the radio. Alright, um, Pink Floyd did the Vision Bell. I'm trying to make sure I wasn't missing any. This, uh, I have a few CDs that have a broken case. But as long as the CD works, that's what matters, so. Damn. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I knew I had a few more in cover. Here we go. Alright, uh, Megadeth Greatest Hits. Now, for uh, any people out there that say they're better than Metallica, you're fucking insane. <laughs> I mean, today they might, but back then, and overall, they don't deserve to hold their, chap their jock strap. Another broken one, unfortunately. But the CD still works good. Now, this is arguably Bon Jovi's most recognizable album. Slippery When Wet. Moving on a prayer. <laughs> There's another Pink Floyd album, but pretty sure 9, nine out of 10 people would know today. The Wall. I like the way all these little uh, little cartoons look like. It looks very similar to how the, some of the clips look like. This is what the CD looks like. Again, it's a two disc set. Uh, another Lamb of God. Ash, ashes of the Wake. Again, you have 40 Randy Bliff. <laughs> They're not the same without them. Uh, oh yeah, Ultimate Aerosmith Hits. And the cover's pretty neat. To this set, again. I got this at the mall for like four or five bucks, which is a steal, because it was used. And this is not the original cover. It's a hologram, of course. And if I take this out, this is what the original looks like. So yeah, but this one's still better. <laughs> All right, here's another CD I uh, heard in the mall. Sam, listen to it. And I thought it was thought it was cool. Fear Factory Mechanize. All right, Skid Row, Skid Row, <laughs> their debut album. That's the famous 18 in life, and I remember you. And and Sebastian Bach, he's actually made a few appearance, appearances on one show called Trailer Park Boys. And if you haven't heard of that, you have to check it out. <laughs> it's hilarious shit. All right, um, Iowa Slipknot. And even though they're still in concert, you can tell they they were sort of affected by Paul Gray's death. There's a, you know, of course you didn't know, there's a few different versions of the way this album looks like. I don't know why, they can't just keep one. But this is probably my favorite layout. Alright, a Skid Row Slave to the Grind. This is another one of my this is one of my first CDs I've ever added to my collection. I was a senior 
which was three years ago. All these broken ass discs. God. I mean, cases, not CDs. They still work, of course. Alright, um. Meatloaf, bat out of hell, too. Way he's dressed. All right, um, this one just came with a case, no booklet or whatever. I got this off on Amazon about a couple months ago. White Snake, the debut album, and this has the famous song "Still the Night." Now I got this CD at Walmart for five bucks, brand new, and this is a steal. Rush, Moving Pictures, Tom Sawyer. Uh, another one of my first CDs, Twisted Sister, Stay Hungry. I originally got this for my uncle as a Christmas gift. After about a year owning it, he just let me keep it. And this is technically the first ever uh, rock band I've heard in my life. Because when I was like maybe four or five years old, I used to watch the shit out of uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. And if you haven't seen the movie, or if you have... There's, uh, in the last, like, 10-15 minutes of the movie, there's a scene in which you're shooting a video, and he's on the, on the, on top of a car, and they have a bunch of hoes and shit, you know. Typical Twisted Sister, 80s rock shit. Um, another Lamb of God, Sacrament, Walk With Me in Hell, Redneck. Right, uh. One of the first of uh, a few ACDC um, fly on the wall. What's with this little guy? I know it's a fly, but I can't remember the last time ACDC did that kind of stuff. But it's it's one of their least well-known CDs, but it's not that bad. I mean, for some of their songs, you really can't tell that well from the words, the way Brian Johnson sings, but it's not that bad. All right, um, and this is, uh, this ranks up there for a lot of people with some of the more better well-known modern-day rock albums, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Californication. <laughs> In a lot of groups these days, they have big-ass, they have to have big-ass tattoos. All right, um, Metallica and Justice for All. One of my all-time favorite bands, and I'm sure some people are. Uh, some of their, it's one of their all-time favorite groups too. They, man, they look pretty young compared to today. Uh, another Slipknot, All Hope Is Gone. Their latest one, which was four years ago. <laughs> Hopefully, they make a new one, which I'm sure they will. But the question is when. That's what it looks like on the inside. This would have been broken if uh, one of let one of my friends in, when I was in school borrow this shit. They're like, "Oh, we're so I'm sorry, I'm broken." I'm like, "Well, yeah, fuck you, whatever." <laughs> uh, I'm not even halfway there, guys. Bang in there. <laughs> well, there was one guy who kept emailing me, said you should make a new one, so you can thank him for this. Um, ACDC Black Ice, their newest one. And, uh, haven't had a chance to check it out. ACDC fans, they're proving they can, they still have it. Another ACDC, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, their second album. I've got big balls. He's got big balls. And she's got big balls. Alright, Judas Priest Painkiller. Some of these are dusty. I haven't touched them for a while. It's another one of my first CDs. Here, Six Feet Under. 
uh, True Carnage. And I don't know if you knew this, but um, Chris Barnes, the singer, he used to be the original singer for Cannibal Corpse. And so if you do know that, then good for you. <laughs> Oh yeah, of course, Michael Jackson, number ones, uh, and there's so many hits on here that a lot of people know, it's crazy, I mean, how can you not like Michael? Oh! <laughs> that was gay. <laughs> Alright, um, this is Metallica's newest album, Beyond Magnetic, it only has four hits. But these are hits that they're exclusive and did not make it to Beyond Magnetic, which is up, which I also have. I heard of some. It was supposed to be an apology, apology CD, because it had uh, Lulu. Oh God! Don't go near that shit. Disaster. Um, Die Side, to Hell with God. And I'm not anti-Catholic. I just like I just like the CD. <laughs> I'm not anti-Catholic at all. I'm nothing against Christians. Okay, now classic ACDC back in black. Everybody has this. Alright, uh Slipknot Volume Volume 3. Subliminal Verses. Another broken one. Jeez, this two years and it still smells like it's brand new. It's weird. It's gotta be the material that's made of. Um, Met Metallica Master of Puppets. Everybody has this one too. I mean, you're, you're, nothing else you can say. And of course, if you're wondering what's playing in the background, it's Motley Crue's Greatest Hits, which is probably my all-time favorite Greatest Hits album, because it was the first one I listened to when I was in fifth grade. Uh, Twisted Sister, Still Hungry. It's sort of like half of it of their songs from Stay, from Stay Hungry, and they remade it, and the other half is brand new songs. It's not bad, but I haven't listened to it that much. All right, uh... Dream Evil in the Night International Group. Oh, excuse me. And uh, a few pretty good CD uh, songs on here. <laughs> All right. Um, God Dethroned. Metallica kill them all. <laughs> More Metallica. First ever CD in Metallica. The face of metal was forever changed. Alright, uh, Iron Maiden, Brave New World. One of the more well known metal groups across the world. <clears throat> Man, I can't stop, excuse me. Right here's uh, Journey. Can't really tell from just from the cover, but it says Journey Trial by Fire. And this was their uh, reunion CD, so, so to speak. But uh, it's not bad, you should check it out. Leonard Skinner Extended Versions, the Encore Collection. It's basically just. Uh, some songs I already played, but live and extended. And a few that, that are brand new, never heard before. Uh, Def Leppard, Greatest Hits, The Vault. 1980 to 1995. Alright, here's another one of my favorite modern day groups, Demon Hunter. I have like four CDs of them, I believe. The world is a thorn. It's the name of the CD. 
Right, here's the death magnetic I was talking about. More Metallica. <laughs> and I uh, think it's pretty cool how the way they make the little booklet. The casket's still there. It's a little, a little flip book of all the different songs and the lyrics. And here's the CD. Here's Avenged Sevenfold Nightmare. Awesome CD. Here's a old one. <laughs> Kawhi Riot. Super hits. I mean, I'm sure nine tenths of you've heard this song. Come on, feel the noise. <laughs> uh Pearl Jam, Yield. They're a pretty well known group. And one website by fan felt they were actually the greatest rock band in history. And uh, I don't know about that. ACDC's gotta be up there. Come on. They were number two, but they gotta be near number one. They changed the face of it. Right, uh, Cold Year of the Spider. Pretty cool CD. Dokken, the very best of. Another hair metal group in the 80s. Again, I'm big on hair metal. Alright, we're almost halfway. <laughs> right, Lamb of God, Resolution. The newest one came out uh, last January of this year. Yeah, just a big eye. <laughs> There's a booklet in here and here's the here's the CD uh, here's the booklet Let's see the goes no, the hell don't matter <laughs> should want to close this without breaking the CD it's just what I need uh, cannibal corpse Evis Scuration Plague. I always pronounce it weird. Either way, it's not that bad. It comes the CD. Well, this is the CD and this is the DVD showing how they made it for only 10 bucks. It's pretty cool. Alright, uh, another Demon Hunter. The name of it. Uh, the Tri... Triptych. The Triptych. Tribe tick, whatever. <laughs> Either way, it's a good, decent CD. I got it used for only a couple bucks. I'm um, Slayer. Hell awaits. That are broken. And the CD still works, so what? Alright, now, uh, Another one of my favorite modern day groups, Korn. I was huge on them when I was a when I was a junior. I was fucking nuts over them. All right, um, Doth. Um, even though it's just called Doth, I thought when I first saw it, I thought it was just a debut album, but it's actually. Not. I mean, I'm not sure why they just call it just their band name. They've had a few other CDs with different titles. Um, Five Finger Death Punch. Death Punch. War is the answer. That's a pretty cool logo. Wait, um, Genesis, Turn It On Again. The hits. Her greatest hits. Uh, this one's a little scratched up, but it still kind of works. Right. Except, some people may not know them, but they've been around for a pretty long time. Blood in the Nations. And it's uh, actually a pretty decent CD for them being around for around 40-some years, I think. Uh, Dave Matthews Band. Every day. Just every day. <laughs> Kinda like camouflage. 
Alright, uh, Nutter Miss Sugar. Contradictions, Collapse, and None. It's like, kind of like two in one. All into one CD. Right, and, uh, here's one of my all-time favorite groups in the 70s, Boston. Even though they suck today. Oh, and the name of the CD is Don't Look Back. Alright, here's a, another Steely Dan. Asia. Love this CD. The Best of ZZ Top. This is one of my, uh, the band that my dad liked when he was younger. Oh, and here's the Motley Crue Gray's Hits. I've had this for years, but I just got this a few weeks ago from Amazon used, and it looks pretty new. It's one of my all-time favorite CDs. And I saw them live last July. It's fucking amazing. And uh, before the end of this video, I can show you a t-shirt I got from the concert, which also included uh, Poison and uh, New York Dolls. All right, Boston, the original album, classic. The best, one of my favorite CDs from the 70s. Alright, uh, Black Sabbath, The Hits, 1970-1978. And even though I knew Ozzy Osbourne back in the day, I had no idea until a few years back. He was actually with this group, and this is where he began his career. This is Ozzy right here. Uh, here's another one of my newer CDs I got from Amazon. The Doors, Strange Days. <laughs> Pretty corny looking CD cover. Alright, the very best of Dio. Ronnie James Dio, who unfortunately passed away. Right, and, uh, and these guys, unfortunately, went to retirement. This was their final CD, but either Grace hit CD, but it's not the case, and it's kind of scratched up, so I'll probably get a new one soon. Scorpions. Sting in the Tail. Her last album. And this came with little guitar picks, which was uh, pretty nice of them, to say the least. Here's Corn 3, Remember Who You Are, released two years ago. Their latest album they released was, it was sort of like a techno sound, which I'm not big on, so I, I didn't really care for it. Hope their next CD is better. Right, uh, one of my favorite, probably my all-time favorite Corn album, Corn Take a Look in the Mirror. A lot of good songs on here. I can't really tell. Another clear album. Cataclysm, Serenity, and Fire. Now, this is one of the heaviest albums I have yet. If not the heaviest, Drummer's a fucking beast. Oh, uh, Shine Down. Leave a Whisper, another one of my first CDs I've kept in the case to start my collection. Bon Jovi Bounce, it's an okay album. It's not one of their best, but hey, why not add more? <laughs> Alright, uh, Demon Hunter's newest album. True Defiance. It's a pretty decent album. It's a little uh, cross necklace. Alright, um, 
The very best of Testament. Good old thrash metal from the 80s. <laughs> and, uh, Event Sevenfold. Event Sevenfold. <laughs> why I did that. <laughs> it was pointless. Alright, um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, Greatest Hits, another one of my personal time favorite Greatest Hits albums. Another broken one, damn it. Getting on my nerves. Alright, um, we're almost done. <laughs> oh, mouth's starting to get a little dry. Almost ready to take a drink soon. But I'm proud of my collection. Uh, Mitsuka, Bleed, Awesome, I mean, no, Obzin, I'm sorry. Duh. Uh, another awesome CD. And uh, I said Bleed right away, because as soon as I see this CD, that's what song comes to mind. Music videos are awesome. <laughs> Let's Light Orchestra, very best of. There's actually a volume two. This is volume one. It's another group that, you know, I'm, even though I'm 20, I mean, it's, I still like them. Because I've heard them when I was little. Right, Corn, See You on the Other Side. <laughs> Pretty crazy looking cover. <laughs> Creepy ass looking kid. Uh, Kiss, the very best of. Alright, um, Deep Purple Smoke on the Water and Greatest Hits. The keyboardist died a couple weeks ago. The CD. <laughs> Forgot this was inside, it was a little busted. Oh, another one of my favorite, favorite Greatest Hits albums Cinderella, Rocket wa Rocked, Wired, and Blues. Greatest Hits. R.E.M. Automatic for the People. Damn it. Oh my gosh. Miss Sugar Catch 33. I'd love to get a t-shirt of this cover. Another Miss Sugar. Uh, destroy, erase, improve. This is kind of like that uh, Led Zeppelin CD. You just push it in and it opens. The same exact case. Right, uh, now this is uh, one of the more famous albums ever made. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Gotta have this one. You don't get you don't have shit. <laughs> Alright, me more Metallica. Load. Now I know reload and especially Saint Anger. Ugh. Uh wasn't very good, but this is a decent CD in my opinion. Alright, uh, the last small pile. Yes. 91025. Uh, another, another one of my uh, personal favorite older CDs. Uh, here's another one of my newer ones Radio City, Big Star. The name of the group is Big Star. And uh, some may not know them, but they're from the 70s. And uh, some people said they didn't get enough credit as they deserved. And I knew about this because of uh, Rolling Stone's 500 Greatest CDs. They're uh, one of the best bands in the 70s, in my opinion. 
Eagles. The very best of. Awesome band. An awesome CD collection. And, it, and this comes with this little booklet that's like... How many pages? 46 pages long. <laughs> and here's the CDs. Right here's Bon Jovi Lost Highway. Alright, um, Rush 2112 Classic. Okay, Ozzy Down to Earth. I haven't heard one this one this much, but it's not that bad. Give it a shot. You have the tamp, if you have the time. Alright, um, Iron Man, the number of the beast, another classic. Basically the same cover on the CD. <laughs> and finally, um and out of the ordinary, this came with one of the CDs I got at FYE. Um, FYE, the world's loudest metal sampler. And it comes with bands such as um, Holy Grail, Danzig, Tarja, Mushroom Head, Skeleton Witch, Kingdom of Sorrow, Halloween, and uh, Autumn Offering, so on. And uh, like I said before the end of this video, I would show you a t-shirt that I got from the Monthly Crew concert. And uh, show you a little bit of my room here. The Slipknot poster, Corn poster, Led Zeppelin, ECDC, and uh, Metallica. And I have a few Minnesota Viking things. <laughs> Even though I live in Pennsylvania. Right, here it is. Here it is. Muckley Crew. Hollywood Bad Boys since 1981. And here's all the tour dates. Can't really tell, but this is the one that matters the most. Scranton, PA. 731-2011. That's where I was at. Kick-ass concert. So, <laughs> hope that wasn't too long for you. And, uh, hope you like, like my collection. I'm pretty sure there's a lot that are much bigger than me. But I figured I'd share my own. So, take care everybody.